Let's look at how we can make scatter plots in Excel using a table of data. For this data, we are going to use Beep Beep's Bedtime Habits as a, uh, an example. If you're not familiar with Beep Beep, Beep Beep is a bear who likes to eat. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with some data here that explains the la what Beep Beep has eaten for the last three days before going to bed. We have, uh, he, he tends to have cans of Coke and cookies. The first day he had one can of Coke and eight cookies. The second day he had two cans of Coke and seven cookies. And the third day, three cans of Coke and three cookies. We want to make a scatter plot or a, um, um, a scatter graph of his eating habits. Now, I've already got this in a table form, so I just need to click in there. Now, and notice how I've set up the table. The, the first column is always going to be the x-axis, and the second column is going to be the y-axis. If you have several variables, the easiest way to make a scatter plot is to simply copy the columns that you want so that the x-axis is on the left and the y-axis is on the left, right, and that there's no other uh, columns in the, the table. Just have a two a call a graph a table with two columns and that'll make a scatter plot pretty uh pretty automatically so if i had actually had four five six columns of data i would have just copied the columns that interested me into a separate sheet into a separate tab so that i had two columns where the x is in the first column and the y is in the second column and if you don't have it as in a table form like that you would go to insert and then make a table out of the data that you have but we already have it in a table form so in order to make the scatter plot i go to insert and then in the charts area i look for the scatter plot and i click on this and i choose the first one that it gives me and i have gotten a scatter plot now with the cans of coke on the bottom and the number of cookies eaten um, before bed. So let's see if we can uh, uh, clear this up. Let's uh, add some labels to the axes. So I'm going in Chart Tools, Design. I'm going to add chart elements, axis titles. Uh, I want a primary horizontal. And that will be cans of Coke drinking, drink, cans of Coke before bed. And now I want to do a vertical axis. So I go to add chart element, axis title, primary vertical. And it's fine with me if it's written vertically. I could rotate that if I wanted to. And this is cookies eaten. Is that spelled correctly? Yeah, probably. Okay, let's change the title. Let's give it Beep Beep's Bedtime Snacks. Beep Beep's Bedtime Snacks. And now we've got all of these grid lines here. Now the grid lines, sometimes they're useful, sometimes they just get in the way. I think they get in the, the way here. So uh, I'm going to see if I can take those out. The grid lines. Um, Primary major horizontal, nope, I don't want those. Grid lines, primary major vertical, I don't want those either. Okay, that's a lot more clear there. So now we can see what's uh, uh, eaten. Now, suppose I also wanted a trend line. Let's see if I can add a trend line over here. And I want, I'm, I want it linear, but I'm gonna go to more trend line options so I can get an equation as well. And so over here, I'll move over there. Um, I'm going to choose linear, and I want to display an equation on the chart, and that will be good. And there I've got uh, everything that I'm looking for. And so here we have a scatter plot throwing the three points the, that he eats. And then a trend line describes the best fitting line that would fit uh, 
uh, the data points that we have, and it even gave us an equation for how to predict how many cookies he would eat given the number of cans of Coke. So Y is the number of cookies, and X is the number of cans of Coke, and we basically see that when he doesn't eat any, drink any Coke, we would expect him to eat 11 cookies, and that would go down by two and a half uh, cookies for each can of Coke that he drinks. And so here we've made a scatter plot for bed beep-beeps bedtime snacks. We've added a um, trend line or regression uh, equal, uh, line, as well as the equation for uh, estimating that line.